Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision. Uh, dude, do I need to say this all the time when I start a new video? I think I should cut this out and just copy paste to every video. Hmm. What do you think guys? Let's like comment down below and see what we can do with this thing. So yeah, uh, before we jump in, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button, the notification bell, the little bell thing. Let's do this. First thing we're gonna do is deselect this um, fill by pressing this thing. I mean, not this thing, this thing, the none. You're gonna press that or you can also press the slash button. And now we got the stroke, only the stroke. We're gonna create our circle. You got it right here, the ellipse tool. Select the ellipse tool or press L. Click on the screen and uh, of course, type in 109 width and 109 hide and pr press ok so we get the first circle as you can see the stroke is inside of the circle which is not good this is not, not what we want so you can press the stroke and you can see the align stroke in here press this and it's gonna align it uh, right into the circle uh, into the center if you press this it's gonna be inside with this it's gonna be outside we want it into the center okay we got it press the letter I mean the whatever press a or you can select the direct selection tool. the shortcut is the a and select this anchor point from here we're gonna pull this pull this upwards by pressing also shift so we isolate it if I don't press shift it basically is gonna go everywhere I don't know exactly actually it's gonna align at 90% but uh, you still can pull it but if you press shift it's gonna basically isolate it way better okay it should be around somewhere around here right now we're gonna work with pan tool or not not exactly pan tool but uh, this direct selection tool which is uh, kind of the same as the you know pan tool so we're gonna press alt and we're gonna uh, adjust the handles uh, separately you know like this if you if you don't press alt it's gonna go like this you know it's moving both handles you know they're like together and this way it's uh, separated so we're gonna make this curvy this part because it's not that consistent but yeah this should be good so we're gonna adjust the other part and this handle is gonna go inside here so we're gonna create a nice leaf I'm gonna isolate uh, the handle straight uh, vertically by pressing shift as you can see here is really inconsistent we need to adjust it I'm gonna increase this one and um, here is not that consistent either so what I'm gonna do is grab this and uh, bring it around here I'm gonna adjust this handle so it's gonna be a little bit more curvy a little bit more consistent So this part is the more like the difficult part because it's not easy to create a really smooth and stylized leaf from a circle like this. But right now this is the approach, this is the tutorial I had on Instagram. So we got the first leaf, it should look something like this. Um, basically it's good. Now we're gonna create another copy from this. We're gonna select it, press Alt and drag it, press Shift. So you're gonna isolate it like that. And now we, can, we have basically a new copy. We're gonna scale this down, press shift and scale it down. Uh, don't scale it down without pressing shift because you're gonna distort it. So press and there you go. I'm gonna rotate this and basically I'm gonna fit this in somewhere around here. The edge should go consistently into this line and uh, I'm thinking to scale it down a little more something around here okay we should be good I see it's not jumping right where I want it's because the snap to pixel is activated again I don't know when I start a new uh, a new file or I open illustrator basically this thing is on all the time it's annoying I'm gonna need to do something about it okay now we're good now we're good select both and go to the object blend make 
From here, we're going to go here to the blend, double click on the blend tool, and you're going to see the blend menu. We're going to press preview, we're going to select specialized steps, and we're going to increase the number of, um, of the leaves. So what we're going to do here is see from uh, starting from here, which is going to be the fill and which is going to be, be the empty one. So this is going to be the fill. This is going to be uh, a cut. Basically, this is going to be empty, fill, empty, fill, empty, fill, empty, fill. So it's good. So we don't need, so we won't cut off uh, everything. For example, if it's on six, this is going to be the fill, empty, fill, empty, fill, empty, fill, empty. So basically, you're going to need to cut off this shape also. We don't want it. We, we want the full shape in here. So we're going to create seven of these and press OK. OK, I'm going to create a copy from this so we can keep the original file as well. Uh, select them and press Alt and drag it to the right. Also press Shift so you can isolate it. From here, go to Objects, Expand, click OK. And now it's expanded. I'm going to create another copy because I always create copies like in every step. So if I uh, ruin the design like this, I can go still back, you know, to modify that stuff. I know like there's like undo and this and that, but uh, this is not how it works when you create logos. But anyways, let's press Shift plus M or you can select the shape builder tool we're gonna cut these parts out you're gonna you see basically when you when you have the little arrow you can see a plus near the arrow so basically what that does is uh, make the you know combine the shapes together and create one shape and if i press and hold alt you're gonna have a minus near the little arrow. This basically is going to cut out the forms and shapes which you are basically selecting because you are basically drawing. So yeah, we're gonna cut out these. Before we do that, you're gonna press Alt and Shift. So we're gonna make it easier. And this way when you press Alt and Shift, it's gonna create these kind of squares and rectangles. However you move, so you can basically select more shapes at once. But if you are just going in with the alt, you need to go like this and like, you know, draw until, you know, everything is gone. But you, you want basically to be faster, so you're going to press alt and shift and do it like this. And it cuts out, you know, you don't need to go there. And we're almost done. There you go. Okay make another copy because I'm used to creating a lot of copies with every freaking step so we're gonna press shift plus M again and we're gonna actually no we're gonna switch flips from a stroke to fill we're gonna press shift plus X so as you can see it flipped is that the flip swap no it swapped or you can press this little thing right here to swap it okay I'm gonna, we're gonna go to, we're gonna press Shift plus M again, the direct selection tool, or no, 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 the shape builder tool, and now we're gonna uh, delete these separately, like press Alt and just click on these things, and it's gonna delete them like that. Right now, uh, I don't know if you can see that it's a lot of pixelations going on in this area because uh, we got a lot of shapes on each other but this one is really clean so what we're gonna do is ungroup and we're gonna select the top layers so and basically the top, the top forms and shapes so you're gonna press this press uh, sorry press shift select this and select these also what is on the top you don't select it like this because we have a ton of layer under each other you're gonna select the top ones by pressing shift and you're gonna drag it and also press shift so you can isolate it you can see there are like still more layers going on in here or thousands of layers which are not good at all so basically when you do this and you um, press this the unite tool 
when you selected everything and you just unite everything uh, that is going to create a lot of anchor points unnecessary anchor points and this way you simplified it and it's clean it doesn't have that much anchor points going on it just has a few of them you know like you can see it's clean so yeah this is it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye